Okay, Mr. Copeland, um, go all the way forward, stand by for the And you do go this way. Mr. Copeland, please raise your right hand as best you can. Please solemnly swear, forever tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Are you Markel Jamal Copeland? First. Mr. Copeland, I'm Judge Fields, and you're here for first appearance. Only three for this first appearance. First person to appoint a public defender to represent you, unless you tell me otherwise, you'll have the privilege of being appointed public defender. Face for at all times. Face to the correction of me. The second purpose is to review the paperwork to see if this probable cause to believe a crime is committed committed by you. The third purpose is to review the bond status. Don't talk about the facts of the case. Anything you say can will be used against you. And there's at least one prosecutor in front of the courtroom, and you're under oath, and everything you say is being recorded. I appoint public defender to represent you. I do find probable cause for all counts. There's a carjacking firearm, aggravated battery, deadly weapon, possession of a weapon by an in-state felon, um, aggravated assault, deadly weapon, aggravated assault, deadly weapon, aggravated assault, deadly weapon. Um, the aggravated assault, deadly weapon, the first one is $25,000, and you're going to be on pre-trial release. Aggravated assault with deadly weapon is $25,000, pre-trial release, aggravated assault with deadly weapon, $25,000, also on pre-trial release. Carjacking with a firearm, $35,000, also on pre-trial release. Aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, $35,000, on, also on pre-trial release. Possession of a weapon by an in-state felon, a uh, state felon, is $45,000 on pre-trial release. The conditions of release are as follows. You'll know, I'm talking to the victims, I'll name them individually for you. No weapons, no firearms, no ammunition, no bars, no alcohol, no drugs unless you have a valid prescription. This condition of your free trial. You'll have no contact with victims, either directly or indirectly. That means you can't email them, text them, give a message to them from somebody else, including the victims. Uh, this the name is your brother, Maurice Copeland. Copeland. You'll have no contact with Armani McRae, Jarvis Talton, uh, Michael Dargett, Maurice Copeland, Katoya Stewart. You should remain 500 feet from them at all times. No contact directly or indirectly through either mail or email or fax or telephone to another person or in any other manner. Um, um, you will have 500 feet away from them, from their residence, future residence, current or future place of employment, current or future school, uh, 100 feet away from the vehicle, and 500 feet away from any place that you know they normally congregate. Once again, you should not use possession use or possess firearm and ammunition. Just to bring any firearm and ammunition in your possession, which the sheriff's office and submit written to see the clerk of court within 48 hours of your release. Do you understand your release section, Mr. Court? Yes, it's uh, the bond out or? But, yes, sir, bond and you have a pre-trial release. If you make the bond, then pre-trial release. Okay, you understand? Uh, Ma'am, I do want to let you know I don't have that type of money and nothing like that, and okay. I just feel like And 10% of the bondsman with the bondsman, and you are pre trial release. Any other questions? Can I always total bond? Yeah. Oh, total bond. Okay. 25, 25, 25. That's 75. And then 35, 35. That's 70. So 75 and 70 is 145. And another 45,000. That's like 115. 215. Is that what we have? I will add it up right now. 35, 35, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, Oh, yes. <clears throat> you have to sign a no contact order. If you're not admitting anything, um, Mr. Copeland, just uh, indicating that you have a, con uh, a copy of the <coughs> no contact order. $190,000 and 10% of the bond is $19,000.
Is he on sight and sound now? I believe so. Okay, sight and sound were cleared by medical. You're going to keep you on sight and sound until the medical staff clears you.